it's Rita, and I'm coming to you with the February 2023 ink flight. Ta-da! It's upside down. I know it's upside down. There. Ink journal ink flight. I like the color of the stamp that they used today. Um, judging by the size of the box, I was going to say I'm going to guess that it's a paper item, but I already know that it's a paper item because... I saw it on a different channel, on accident, on a not ink flight video. So I already know what the big giant goodie is. That's okay though. I have no idea what the ink is or if there's anything else in here. But it's ink flight day. I love ink flight day. I wasn't sure that I was gonna get to record this tonight. I thought I was gonna have to wait till tomorrow, but I don't. It's here. All kinds of stuff okay 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 what do we have here what kind of, we have all kinds of stuff here we have the sticker <laughs> the sticker so cute oh I saw the sticker as well we have this is the thing that I saw a color swatch book Jack Jack here I don't know um, but this is a little swatchy notebook so I guess we'll use this today I'm also gonna do swatches in my Hobonichi because that's what I have this for um, and then we have, this is Girl of All Work Accessories, classic characters. We selected some of our favorite authors and brought them to life with these fun character adhesive legs. A perfect adornment for your literary treasures, classic or otherwise. I have, oh cute, Poe. So Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Jane Austen, Emily Dickinson, and Oscar Wilde. <laughs> these are so cute. These <laughs> Sorry, the light is kind of shiny on them. These are so cute. Okay. Those are kind of silly and adorable and I love them. Will I use them? Probably not. I don't know, but they're very cute. Okay, the inks. I have no idea what the inks are. The inks are still a mystery. So let's see. I don't know, we have that 2023 um, super tape. Oh, oh, can I get it off of these? Oh, we did it. We did it, everybody. We did it. We saved the piece of tape. Okay, what what do we have? Oh, my. <laughs> we have <laughs> Van Diemen's. Yay. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited about this. We have <laughs> some of the new. It's some of the new Birds of a Feather set. So that's amazing. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have Blue Jay Crown. I'm just going to put these in my little stand and we will fix the order later. We have Laughing Kookaburra Crest. Excellent. Excellent choice. I love that one. Elegant Peacock Train. We have a European Honey Bee Eater Chin. Another excellent choice. Mandarin Duck Wing. Did they choose all of my favorites? In journal. Did you watch my video and choose all of my favorites? European Honey Bee Eater Wing and Mandarin Duck Nape. I loved all of these. I loved all, like, I loved this one so much. And I loved this even though it's yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, <laughs> well, we've seen all of these. So that's exciting. Okay, the only thing is, okay, okay, hold up. Let's look at the big goodie before we swatch the ink. Since we, if you watch my other videos, you've seen the ink swatches. We're still going to do them because I keep track of what we get in ink journal. So I'm still going to swatch them and all the things. But I want to look at the goodie. It's an ink swatch booklet. The cover feels really nice. It's really nice paper. And then it has like a little thing where you can fill it in and then write the ink name. So it's only one side. Hi, Pearl. So it's an impression color swatch book, nine ink bottles, Weringle origin. So this must be from uh, Weringle. Oh, that's exciting. That's very cool. Weringle with the cool inky paper items. Does it say? How many page? It just says nine ink bottles, which is how many come to a page. 
Record your ink swatch collection in this 40 page spiral. So 40 times nine, that's 360. I would need too many of these. <laughs> Each page of thick 200 GSM paper has a set of illustrated ink bottles to fill in with fountain pen ink. Feel free to apply ink using a dip pen, fountain pen, or brush on this paper. Identify each swatch by writing the name underneath. Made by the same company that produces Wrangle inks, these notebooks are imported from South Korea. And then the little flags. For book lovers and aspiring storytellers, this set of page flags features four writers of classical literature. Garland Poe, Jane Austen, uh, Emily Dickens, and Oscar Wilde. Mark a noteworthy place with these adhesive flags, a perfect adornment for your literary treasures. Founded in 2007, Girl of All Work creates innovative off-style slash lifestyle office style office slash lifestyle accessories that bring joy and whimsy to everyday tasks and hit the slopes with our winter ink to post a sticker illustrated by the talented Vanessa Langton. Instagram at Vanessa underscore Langton. Okay, so yes, the Birds of a Feather uh, series from Van Diemen's. Um, they chose one of the Blue Jay. They chose two of the Mandarin Duck, one Laughing Kookaburra, one Peacock, and then two uh, Wing uh, European European Honeybee Eater inks. Okay, as always, I have uh, coloring cards that I will be swatching these on. I have pearl in the background. I have my Moon Man and a six, a glass dip pen. Um, I don't really like the way the other pen that I have works, the one that I just got, so I'm gonna go back to the tried and true. Um, I need to play with the other one a little bit. I don't know if I need to like, pearl, for the love of God. Um, I don't know if I need to like, mess with it or, it's not chipped, I just, it's just really fine. I don't like the way it writes. Um, I'm also going to swatch it on some Tomoe River paper. This is the cream paper from the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, this is my inky weeks that I used this year. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Um, okay. And I have various craft store paint brushes off to the side with some water here. So, let's get started. Let's get started. The first one that we're gonna do is a Blue Jay Crown, and according to this description, a gorgeous periwinkle blue that shades very nicely with the dual tone of pink. Pearl. Get down, you naughty girl. You're so naughty. I'm gonna use my ink to ink to put uh, ink ink a pet to hold the single vial just so it's not like in the way make sure this is clean and doop I kind of am like super glad that we got uh, these samples because these are a lot of my favorite ones from from the series so this is exciting my video is not that. I mean, I just put this video up, so we just got lucky, I guess. Um, this is for Ink Flight Two, Twenty Twenty Three. Pearl, why are you on? Oh, you see crinkle plastic. I see what it is. Oh, are you coming to say hi? How are you coming to say hi? You can't have the ink. Oh, per pearl, per pearl. I really need you to get down. I know, you just wanna say hi to the pen people and I'm not letting you. I'm so mean. I'm so mean. Yeah. Okay, you can come say hi later. I don't know if she's too far away, but she's probably like crazy. Microphone might be too far away. Okay, down, down, down. Down, down. Down, down. She did not like that I made her get down. I will pay for this. I will pay for this infraction. Van Demons, this is Blue Jay Crown.
This is a really light ink that um, I think a lot of people aren't going to like, especially um, with the way that it goes down so light, but I just loved, I love this one in the swatch. I need to get this in a pen. Like stat. <gasps> I can put Honey Bee Eater in the, um, in the saffron, the Twisby saffron, whenever they ship it to me. I usually order it, it's usually available, the Twisby pens um, are usually available if I uh, order straight from Twisby, like if they were like 9 p.m. the night before like the actual release date and um, I totally like fell asleep and spaced on it. Um, so I didn't order it until well into the day on Friday, I was like, oh yeah, the Twisby. But I didn't just order the pen, I ordered a couple of backup nibs. Hopefully this is in frame. Um, I ordered a couple of 580 nibs so I can replace. I have an extra fine that I like. I never use that pen because I don't like the nib. And I have that um, punch pink that I got a architect grind on. And I don't use that either. I don't... I have to like be in the mood to use it. But I don't want to only use that pen... When I feel like writing with an architect. So I got a I got a, a medium and a broad nib just to just to have so I could swap them out if I wanted to use the pen. So pretty. Next up we have Laughing Kookaburra Crest. This is like the like warm brownie gray that I liked so much and that I thought the Countess over at Creepy Nibs would like so much. I was correct. Um, I was also, like I knew I was correct. I received confirmation I did not need because I already knew. Should I zoom in a little bit? I can't tell if that's in frame now. Okay, it is. Okay, Ink Flight, February 2023. I keep wanting to write February 2022. This is Van Diemen's. I always spell kookaburra wrong. Kookaburra. Kookaburra Crest. And the description on this one is, this unique shading color is a smoky brown with tones of blue. I love, I think this color is so nice. I think it goes down really interesting when it's wet and then it dries to this like brownish gray. That's really pretty. Be honest, I don't see the blue in the text. I only see the blue when it uh, gets blotted off and then dabbed with water. Stunning. Next up we have Van Diemen's uh, Elegant Peacock Train. This is a really bright green with, um, I forget which color shimmer it is. This shimmer was inspired by the decadent train of the peacock with photonic crystals of gold. Phot photonic? I'm gonna have to look up that word. I don't, I don't think I know what that word means. I don't think I've heard that word before. Ooh, 
look, we're swatching ink and we're learning. Or at least I'm learning. I don't know about any of you. Or I will be learning after I'm done recording this video. Oh, the shimmer is so freaking pretty. Then, demons. Elegance peacock train. Yes. Elegance. Peacock train. This shade of green is really stunning. I just realized I should be writing the ink names here. So I'm going to do that real fast. That would have been a smart thing to do. A little, let's see, train. Okay, let's fix the others before we move on. Oh no, I need that. Let's fix the others before we move on. I'm doing is I'm using there's like a little drop near the top and I'm just using that for the name that's why I keep running out of ink so I'm not doing a full dip just grabbing what happens to be close except on this one that's gonna be a problem this is land demons blue J crown okay now we can continue our swatching I probably didn't need to keep you along for that ride but you know what I did you're here for inky shenanigans so I will give you inky shenanigans Lovely, lovely, lovely. A couple swipes on here. That shade of green is really stunning and the shimmer is really lovely. And this light picks up the shimmer so nicely. It still needs to dry, but you can see it in the scribbly. I hope that swatch was in frame. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at the shimmer. Flip my paper around a little bit because we've got a yellow and I don't want to get it to contaminated on the card. Okay. European honey bee eater chin. Totally think I might put this in that Twisby Saffron though. It's that or um, I have a pen, I think Pannonia Dandelion that I think will look really nice. Do 
three. Um, but anyway, oh yeah, I was saying, I ordered a couple of nibs. And my order, like, usually when I order the release uh, Twisby, it ships, like, immediately. And this, it's been, I ordered on Friday. Euro Honey Bee Eater. I forget what the chin. Chin. What we're thinking of it. Maybe I won't swatch all of those. I don't know. What should I do? I know that I'm going to have to make my own decision because you aren't here to guide me, but I also know that some of you are probably yelling at your computers or phones or televisions or whatever device you are watching this on, giving me your input. And for that, I thank you. Hopefully I do what you're telling me to do. <laughs> Ramona. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't. I'm just kidding. I'm not calling people out. She tells me what to do often, though, and sometimes I actually listen to her without knowing I'm listening to her. <laughs> this reminds me. I have to put samples together for some people. I'm trying not to dip it too far because I don't need a ton of it. Oh, this yellow is so pretty. I know, like, I'm a known yellow hater. If you've been here, um, you know that yellow is not my jam. But this is a really nice one. It ticks all the boxes. If I were going to like a yellow ink, this is one that I would, this is one that I would like. It's leg it's bright, it's cheerful. I can still read it. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. It apparently does not want to leave this brush at all. Hello? Excuse me? Excuse me, ma'am? Yeah. It's bright, but cheerful, and I can read it. And that is really all I look for in a yellow, because yellow is not my favorite color. Sorry if it's really loud. My, um, my, uh, little slickery don't ink flight sample holders sitting right by my mic so i'm sorry if that's been really super loud i've been trying not to but next up we have european honey bee eater wing which is this beautiful it's like a pale like bluish green greenish blue muted it's stunning really This is Ink Flight 223. This color has really awesome shading. a really nice kind of sagey sort of green like it would look really nice in that Kaveco sage green I think I don't have one of those so I can't test it but I think it would look really nice with it there we go. 
go. And I did not write the name of this ink over here. Let me write the name on here before I forget. I could have just written this in a different color instead of writing it in the ink color, but that's the way I get to see what it looks like written. Kind of. I mean, I do get to see it written, but in like a pen like instead of just like filling it in with a random pen. Anyway, it makes sense. You understand. You understand what I'm trying to say. Also, I said this on um, the like community tab, but yesterday, uh, February 12th was my three year YouTube anniversary. That's so fun. So really, thank you. I said thank you in that tab, in that post, but in case you don't see those, um, yeah, just thank you so much. Thank you for being here for basically three years of Ink Flight. Um, Ink Flight is, what, six years old now, I think? Um, and I have been an Ink Flight member for most of it. So um, I missed out, I think, on the very first couple. I think I joined in three, and I did a few months, and then I was like, I got overwhelmed, and then I was like, I can't do this anymore. And then... Um, and then I had severe FOMO, and then I joined, and I haven't looked back since. <laughs> and then I started making videos, and I was like, well, I can't leave now. I'm making videos. It's my favorite video to do. Like, currently, inked videos are awesome. Those are, like, probably my favorite videos to watch. But my favorite video that I do on my channel is the Ink Flight. I look forward to it every single month. I love that we have so many new friends that are also joining the Ink Flight ranks. We have so many channels that are now posting videos. It used to just be Creepy Nibs and Chris Signs. And when they were starting to like stop doing it, I joined the fold. And then there was also Productive Dragon. And then Productive Dragon and me were like the only ones that were around doing these. And then slowly, ever so slowly, other people started getting it. Like Maria and Dormouse and Joy Pen the Paper. Um, there's a couple of other channels. Uh, C Monet has it now. There's a couple of other channels that I don't remember their name. Um, I'll look. I'll look up all of the most recent um, Ink Flight unboxings, and I think one's called Pen Sane, but I don't think I've watched any of their videos yet. Um, my YouTube time has been limited, partially because I've been playing video games and partially because I've been just busy and dealing with all the life stuff that I've had going on this particular year, the last two months, uh, two and a half months almost. Um, so I've been watching the old standbys, all my favorites, and not really branching out so much. Um, but yeah, if you have any favorite YouTube channels, link them down below or mention them. I'd love to check them out. I know there's a slew of new people that I uh, have not spent a, a lot of time around, um, but that like have great content. So yeah, definitely feel free to share. Feel free to share in the comments. Let me know, who are you watching? Um, yeah, I was really, I mean, I'm still heavily into Twitch and the video games and stuff like that. And that is kind of, that's how I spend most of my time. <laughs> But every once in a while, I just want to watch a YouTube video, and so I will, um, like, especially if I'm working, I'll, uh, throw on a YouTube video instead of a Twitch chat, or instead of a Twitch channel, because I'm too compelled to chat in Twitch chats, and sometimes when I'm working, that makes me lose focus, and so, so I'll throw YouTube videos on. But yeah, definitely link your favorite uh, YouTubers below, your favorite pen tubers. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll introduce somebody in the comments to somebody new. Not just me. I admit, I am not as like into all of the goings on lately, so. Yeah, I scroll Instagram for a few minutes a day and then 
pretty much just won't go through my subscriptions and watch people that I'm already following. I just realized I haven't been, um, oh, I didn't write the name of this. Um, I've been reading the descriptions. This is Van Diemen's Mandarin Duck Wing. This, this one's so pretty, this like burgundy maroon, this wine color. Ugh, I love it. And then last but not least, we have Mandarin Duck Nape, which is a tealy turquoise, if I remember correctly. You're dry, you can sit down there, okay. And I also really enjoyed this one, I believe. I believe. Mandarin duck nape. I'm gonna write that here while I'm thinking about it. And even mandarin duck nape. Nape. Did I say in the Van Diemen's video that I can't wait to see these in an ink flight? Because I feel like I said that, or at least thought it, and <laughs> here we are. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not even joking. I love when I unintentionally, maybe it wasn't the, maybe it wasn't the, um, maybe it wasn't the Van Diemen's. It might've been the wearing goal, which I still have to upload. One of these swatching videos, I was like, I can't wait to see these in an ink flight. And I can't. <laughs> well, now I don't have to because I've seen these. We got these in an ink flight. I just have to laugh because I haven't been buying like a lot of ink. And then like the first thing I get all excited about and buy, it's like, here's the ink flight. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. That's really saturated. It also has like nice shading in love Mr. spots there we go All right, another successful ink flight. Do we want to swatch those, these? Well, we have to wait for these cards to dry anyway, so why not? You know what, why not? Let's, let's do that. Here's what the Tomo River swatches look like so far. This one dried pretty fast and these three are dry. Um, I'm not surprised that the first couple are dry. The first few, maybe. This one. These need a, need a little bit of a minute. So we'll set this off to the side. And we'll grab our... We'll just grab the whole collection. There's 18 inks in the set, I believe, so we will fill up two pages. I think I am just going to write the names in like a normal pen instead of dipping and cleaning out, but we will swatch them with an automatic pen on here. How's that? Does that sound okay? Can you see? Hopefully you can see. Let's zoom out. 
Okay, so we'll start with Mandarin Duck Wing. And I'm just going to use the ones that I have the set of. I don't know how this is going to take this level of ink. Also, I feel like I got ink somewhere, and I don't know if that's right or not. Um, I'm going to use my favorite gel pen, the Sarasa Dry. This is the black in the 07. It's nice and juicy, but dries really fast. So this is Van Diemen's Mandarin Duck Swiveling. I feel like Q-tips or um, the paintbrushes might be better, but that's okay. I could also just not load it up. It wasn't as loaded before on the first try.
Okay, this should be the last one, and our all of our stuff should be dry. Oh, I forgot how much I love that one, too. Fiend Demons, you're killing me! Okay, so this is Blue Jay Wing. Hopefully, you, oh yeah, you see that. Blue Jay Wing. Blue J. Okay. This is crazy. J. Crown. Ta da! Here's our little inky swatches of our Van Diemen's inks. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm sad I ruined this one. I'm sad I ruined this one because there's Shimmer and Sheen and I borked it. I borked it. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so we'll let this dry. But yeah, it doesn't... These ones where I had a lot of ink, if I if there was a lot of ink in the place... Oh, I'm obsessed with that. If there's a lot of ink in the place, the paper kind of buckles. At least while it's wet. Because this one's still wet. It is a little buckly, but it's not as bad. Oh yeah, that definitely... I can't tell if it feels like that because I ran the paper or the q-tip across it. I also ruined the sheen on this one. Um, or if it's because I used the automatic pen here. Well, it feels like it here too. So maybe it's just the amount of ink on the page. Mm. Okay, very cool. Let's look at our swatches. We've, we've rambled on enough. How long is this video? Like an hour. It's a freaking hour. Although some of it I am going to be cutting out because it was pearl time and whatnot. Um, okay. I don't remember what order I did these in. Oh, they're right here. Duh. Oh no. Oh no. Did I ruin it? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Alright, so we started with Blue Jay Crown. Dual shading, purpley, blue, pink, extremely pale where in, in the lighter spots where it shades. This is going to be a deal breaker for some people, but I love it. Um, then we had Laughing Kookaburra Crest, this warm brownish gray, grayish brown. Has a lot of dimension. Again, some of the um, lighter shading may be a deal breaker for some, but I really enjoy this one as well if you're fans of creepy nibs and want to get an ink that you think creepy nibs would like this is one that they would like this is one that she would like the countess herself it has been approved to me she told me she told me i was right which duh of course i was hello if there's one thing i know it's ink that the countess would like i feel like i'm missing one of my swatch cards we're missing one. The green one. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Haha. <laughs> okay. I don't think... Was that the next one? It is the next one. Elegant Peacock Train. Shimmy, shimmy, Cocoa Puff. All that shimmer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The shimmer kind of looks... It's gold, but sometimes it looks kind of blue like bluish green I wonder if it does like that sort of like chameleon thing the diamine does either way it's a really bright beautiful shimmer it looks awesome in this light then we had honey bee eater chin the super bright cheery elf yellful yellow <laughs> i was gonna say cheerful yellow and said cheery yellful um anyway i cannot speak it's not even that light it's only like i don't know like 8 45 or something um yeah beautiful beautiful gorgeous color then we have honeybee eater wing it looks like this is kind of like a moldy growth or something that's kind of gross looking but also very pretty again i think it would look really nicely in that sage uh, kaveco so if you have it get a sample of this if you don't want a full bottle then we have mandarin duck wing this beautiful kind of wine sort of color and it has like this 
has that sort of same like weird growth pattern thing here but a really nice like sheeny halo and then we have mandarin duck nape which has this has um, this beautiful like it's not quite red I want to say magenta sheen it's not really pink but it's not really red um, but yeah this beautiful teal color this is an interesting color palette from ink flight I will say we usually see a lot more blues and there are a lot of blues in this set that and I'm surprised we didn't see some of them um, I don't know if that was based on feedback from previous ink flighter from pre previous ink flights or whatever but I think they chose a lot of interesting colors and I am happy with the selection um, I think a few of these are going to be deal breakers if you're not into some of the lighter colors um, but I think this might be a winner and if you like shimmers I think you'll like that one it's just really stunning so yeah let me know did you have a favorite do you wish you had the ink flight do you um yeah do you want any of these inks? Like, are, are you looking for any of these inks? Or any of the other ones that I just watched for you real fast in this book, in this watch book? I think that's super cute. Oh, excuse me. Let me know what you think of the ink flight below. I'd love to hear from you. Whether you got it or whether you wish you got it or if you're gonna get it. I don't know. I don't know if they have any available. I've stopped checking to see if they're available because I have checked and they've said sold out and then I check again later for something else and then they've got some available. So um, check the Ink Flight website. I link it down below. Um, and yeah, if you're interested, check it out. I don't get anything out of it. I'm just a very happy customer who likes to unbox it for the internet. So um, yeah, if you are looking to subscribe to the Ink Flight, because you think it'd be fun, please do. Um, yeah. Yeah. I need to stop yawning. It's time for me to get this edited and go to bed. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry for the super long ink flight, um, as I continue talking. Um, but thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for three years on YouTube. Thank you so much. Three years of ink, ink flight unboxings. Can't believe it. And ink swatches. Ugh, the ink that we have swatched on this channel. I cannot believe it. Thank you for being here. No matter where you hopped on along the ride, just thank you for being here. You're here now, or you'll be here in the future maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but just thank you. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all the feedback, all the interaction. Um, I know that I have been kind of not as great about answering comments lately as I would like to be, but um, yeah, I read everything and I appreciate all of you and um, I think you're all amazing. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you again soon. I actually have another Ink Swatch video to edit and upload as well. I was going to do that tonight and then Ink Flight showed up. So I was like, ooh, Ink Flight. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Take care.